Hello all, Shadwell here, ready to talk about the next film in my collection, 12 Angry Men from 1957, directed by Sidney Lumet and starring Henry Fonda and Lee J. Cobb. This is the first film we've come across that is from the Criterion Collection, and it is by no means the last. Some people revere the Criterion Collection as the creme de la creme of movie collections, while others think it to be self-important crap. I'm somewhere in the middle as I do think they have a lot of great films, but for every Wes Anderson film to be a Criterion release, I smell something rotten in the state of Denmark. But I digress, which is a common occurrence with me. Twelve Angry Men tells the story of a 12-man jury deliberating on a case that could sentence an 18-year-old to death, the one man who doesn't believe the prosecution proved their case beyond a reasonable doubt, and the dramatic and often explosive back and forths that follow. The stakes are already high as a young man's life hangs in the balance, but they feel even higher as the jury deliberation uncovers hole after hole in the prosecution's case that the defense attorney completely missed out on. I think for the same reason police procedurals are so popular, this movie works because we want to believe that if we were in the hot seat, the 12 people deciding our fate would be just as passionate in their deliberation. And speaking of passion, Lee J. Cobb's speech towards the end of the film where he is clearly working out some issues moves me to tears by the end of it. I can't help it. And I can't think of anything negative when it comes to this movie, as it is definitely one of the finest courtroom dramas I have ever seen. So the obvious recommendation of if you like courtroom dramas, you'll love 12 Angry Men applies big time. Also, at least on the Blu-ray Criterion copy of it that I own, the original 50-minute television program this masterpiece is based on is a special feature if that sort of thing interests you. I give this movie an A+, because yes, it is that good. And fuck you, Bridge on the River Kwai, for stealing the Best Picture Oscar from this piece of utter perfection. Well, from a great film that was robbed of three Oscars, to a great film that won three Oscars, next time we'll be talking about 12 Years a Slave. See y'all then.